What's up guys, it's Taco with Ant Up Outdoors. Got another little tacos tip for you. How many of you guys are out there using GoPros or other action style cameras? Okay, so one of my biggest fears is that I'm gonna lose my GoPro 8 while I'm out on my kayak. It's just gonna fall into the drink and be gone. And that one hits me right here in my wallet. Well, I come up with an idea of how to add a little additional security to my, my GoPros when I'm out filming, trying to get you guys some in the field footage. Gonna need a couple of things. First thing off, you're gonna need a couple of pair of pliers. Got a little pair of linesman's pliers here. I also have a pair of needle nose. I also have a crimping plier. You're going to need one of these right here. This is just a loop connector for electrical. I mean, you can find this at, at any auto parts store, any hardware store. Um, Walmart will have them. You can find these pretty much anywhere. Some form of cordage. Now I have regular 550 cord here. Then I also have an elastic cord here. Um, you could do it either way, whatever you prefer. Some heat shrink tube, just to kind of dress things up. A lighter of some form regular cigarette lighter or a uh, small torch. Your GoPro or your whatever action camera you have. And then whatever mount you like to use. So to start this off, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Hold it with one pair of pliers, grab it with the needle nose, and just pull it to remove the plastic sheath on it. Now, when you buy your, your eye connector, make sure you don't buy the ones that have the heat shrink already built into them. My second step, I'm just going to take this and kind of open this loop up. So it has has a, a loop here at the end. I'm just gonna kind of open that up a little bit. So I have my loop opened up. It's a little bit wider now. I'm gonna grab a piece of my cordage and make sure it fits in that eye. It is gonna be super snug. That's where my lighter is gonna come into play. So I'm just gonna heat this up a little bit. So now I have my cordage running up into my eye. Once I have that going, I'm just going to take and use the crimping pliers to secure that down on that. on that cordage real well. Give it a quick test. So I'm putting way more pressure than a GoPro camera is gonna put on that. 
I'm going to grab a piece of heat shrink tube to fit over that just to, to dress it up a little bit, make it where it's not as not unfinished looking. And the other end of this is cut as well. I probably, one tip is feed your heat shrink tube on before your eye. I'm just going to slide that up just like so. Take my lighter, heat that lightly to shrink it in place. And that end's good to go. Now, to the other end, you can do numerous things. You can detach a carabiner to attach it to your kayak. Um, you could take and buy a small float so that if you dropped it overboard, that float will hold it up. The biggest thing is, is test that out a little bit before you try it. That way, you know your float will hold your camera, your battery, and whatever mount you had it on should the mount happen to fail and break off you'll know that float will hold that up above the water. Now to make this work, basically I just undo the, the screw that holds it to the camera normally. Take my camera. Get it attached, and now my camera is on its safety cord. Um, you can make several of these up. You know, those little eyes come in like packs of 10. Um, you can make several of them up, one for your kayak, one for your boat if you have a boat. The biggest thing is when you're doing your connection points and I'll show you with a with a second one here so I have my cutoff elastic cord here is you do not want to have like a big knot in that area this little eye will bend around a little bit if you need to adjust it but you do not want to have a big knot sticking out because that's going to block your eye and that's going to make it basically ineffective. Again, once you've done it, you know, make a couple of, make one with a float for when you're on the kayak. That way if your GoPro, you know, you snap it out of a mountain, some trees or something, you know, you got your GoPro floating with a float. You know, if you want to make something up with like a carabiner style clip to connect to your kayak you can take your carabiner clip just tie it in with whatever knot you're confident and comfortable with And when you tie this knot, if you take some of that heat shrink tubing, you can just heat shrink that up, make it look nice and neat. But there I could clip that right on. And I don't have this screwed in all the way. And my camera falls because this wasn't screwed in proper. It 
she's set. It's not going to leave far from me anyhow. So make yourself a couple up. Like I said, parts and supplies are available any hardware store. You don't have to go to any form of specialty store. If you go to an Ace Hardware, they're going to have the shrink tube. They're going to have the little eye connectors. They're going to have some form of cordage you can use, be it 550 cord, elastic cord, you know, whatever your choice is. If you do the float, again, I would take and test it in my bathtub before I used it in the field just to make sure that the float would hold you know on my kayak I have a, a rail blazer camera boom well if I knock that out and I have that on a float and that's the only thing that's going to save it I got to make sure that not only is it going to float my camera but it's going to float that three foot boom as well I hope you guys enjoyed this one I'm going to try to keep these coming. Like I said, maybe not as frequently as we used to, but I will try to keep some tips coming your way. Be sure to give us a like and a subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.